Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Crash Storio 2. So, today we're going to focus on green circuits, uh, which we still need to research, by the way. So, let's put that in real quick. Um, green circuits, um, as well as the automation of red and green signs. Because shortly after green circuits, we do get access to the logistic tech cards, um, which is only our gear wheels and electronic circuits together, plus some light tech cards as well as we get access to the electric lab, which is def a definite upgrade of the things that we need. Let me just punch these trees real quick, because we need the space over here. Good, 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 good. I do hope that the research over there is going to go fast enough, but we can already start building because we kind of know how um, green circuits are being made. Um, it's more or less the vanilla recipe, but with the exception of using um, iron plates as the base material, we are using stone plates as the base material. So we can just start thinking about setting up something like, I'll just start over here. Something like this, something like that. You know, the classic. These things over here make copper wire, and then these things over here make, well, we don't have that yet, uh, the green circuits. Uh, and then we take a copy of this, we flip it. One, two, three, there we go. Something like that. Uh, and then, of course, we need to make the stone tableaus. Stone, stone tablets, we make of them eight per second. Uh, out of one brick, and we need two per second per machine. Uh, two, four, six, eight. That is exactly eight. Technically, if we want to be very fancy about it, wait a minute, let me just cut over here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. If we want to be really, really fancy about it, we could do something like this stone tablets in the middle. Um, and then it's all direct insertion left, right, and center. The only question that is, where do we put out? Well, actually, let's do it like this. And that. Yep, I think I've already got it. We're going to do it like this. Um, so what do we need? I need some inserters. Yeah, make me some inserters, please. Uh, do we still have an assembly machine over here for inserter parts? Yes. We should probably make some because I'm pretty sure that I'm out of them. And we're not needing inserted parts for this. Or did I just make the correct amount by accident? I made the correct amount by accident. <laughs> cool. Uh, we need some sticks for that. There we go. Have some sticks. Uh, we also need some gears for that. Here, have some gears. There we go. That way around. Good. And make me some more inserted parts, please. Good, good, good. Okay, we are almost done with the research. Excellente. Good, that will mean we have some kind of stone belt going this way. Of course, the yellow inserter is not fast enough for that. It should be a blue inserter. We don't have that yet. Same is true over here for these inserters. These should be blue inserters. Uh, we don't have that yet. So for now, the machine over here will just run slow and stuff like that. Um, but we can already see where this thing is going to be. So let's cut this thing off. Uh, I already missed my bots. Um, the first thing we're going to do, actually, after we do green circuits is we're probably going to focus as fast as we can to get access to um, uh, chemical science so that we can start making bots. Because bots do make this game so much easier. Uh, we also do need some more production machines over here. Uh, you're making some of these in your pocket. Could you maybe not do that? So yeah, let's pick up these, pick up those, pick up these, pick up those. There's a whole bunch more over there we can pick up. There we go. Stop making things in your pocket. I mean, technically, we don't really need to make a machine that makes gears for us, because we can just always pick up some gears from over here like this. It'll be fine. There we go. Good. That should be all the machines that we need. Uh, and this over here is going to make all the green circuits that we need, at least for a while. There we go. Connect up this. Connect up that. Make this. Make that. There we go. Good, 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 good. Uh, and then we need a whole bunch of inserters. Which we at some point in time need to upgrade to blue inserters, which we can also do. Though I think for blue inserters, we do need things like steel. Uh, they are over here. Yeah, we do need steel for that. We don't have that yet. Um, you know what? Why not go for it? Oh, that, oh that's all. <laughs> I forgot. We need coke for that. And for coke, we need trees. Okay. Well, we just opened that rabbit hole. So I guess we're going down it. Um, there we go. This way around. And this way around. And then you go like this. There we go. Uh, oh, too bad. There we go. Could not go that. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then one over there, one over there, one over there, one over there. Uh, wait, this looks different. 
we did it like this. There we go. And then you get some. I'm actually out of inserters. And for that, we need more parts. And we need some more parts in general. Uh, electric motors, we have more than enough. Automation cores, we could probably pick up some. Uh, and then, of course, all of these. There we go. Make some more of these, please. Yep. Make some more. Keep making them. Good. Uh, motors, we have more than enough. Uh, automation cores, we have more than enough. Um, yeah, just pocket cross some more of these. There we go. There we go. Yeah, steel processing. Now, that's going to be fun. Uh, for steel processing, we need to make coke. We basically cook up, I think, do we cook up the iron ore with, with coke? Or do we cook up the iron plate of coke? We cook up the iron plate of coke. Um, sure. But we'll do that once we are there. Good. And there we go. That is going to be our circuit making machine. Now, we do have this magnificent uh, line of copper going this way. And I was kind of thinking about, are we going to do a main bus? But I'm kind of more thinking about maybe just doing one main line. That just goes through everything we need. <laughs> just like this. Uh, and then we need bricks. Now, bricks we have not picked up yet. Bricks we still have down here. Uh, let's make one of these, please. Here we go. And then get the brickies out. And then... Here we go. That's just a placeholder real quick. So that we know where we need to go. Good. And that will give us circuits. Uh, technically... Mm, let's do something weird. Something weird and wonderful. Uh, we do need some iron plates for that. Uh, there's some iron plates over here. Give me a chest. Give me one of these. Um, there we go. Um, that goes like this. This goes like that. That will be the entrance over there. And then that will be that. Uh, we could pull it down by one more. Um, oh, God. This is no stupid or weird. Well, do it like this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good, good, good. Um, and then we need some power poles. Now... We have these gaps over here. We can just use these. Uh, there we go. And then we got... Actually... Ooh, this one is good. That one is good. This one is good. That one is good. Um, we do need some power in the middle somehow. Hmm. No. I, I do want my, my bigger power poles back. ASAP. <laughs> they do require things like steel and stuff like that. But there we go. That should be fine. That should, <coughs> sorry about that. That should make us the green circuits that we need. Um, yes, it, it will do that if we put in any kind of output inserters. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we're making green circuits. Excellent. Um, sure, let's go for the lap, I guess. Um, which does mean that we need to think... Um, the lab itself, does it also require steel? No, it does not. Um, but we should make some steel. So green circuits and steel, I guess, is the objective for today. Steel, like I said, is a little bit more complicated because we need to make some coke. And to make some coke, we need to combine some wood and some coal. Uh, now, we can't just mine up these trees by hand all the time. Uh, what we do need to do is to make a wood farming plantation. There we go. We can make six over here. We need some more glass. Um, glass down there. Good. Um, and the wood recipe, that one is over here. Uh, if we just take greenhouse and we add some water to it, we get like 20 wood every 120 seconds if we add a decent amount of water on top of it. There we go. Um, option two. Um, let's have a look at... Wait, make more of these. We need... Oh, we need wood for that. <laughs> sure. Let's, let's chop some trees to make some more greenhouses. Um, recipe number two is we add some sand, we add less water to it, um, and we make double the amount of wood in half the time. So this recipe over here is already four times as good. And just putting some sand in there is no big issue. We got sand galore over here. Uh, we get sand from stone, and later on we get a lot of stone and sand as byproducts. So having something where we can just sink in a bit of our sand is definitely a good idea. Good. Uh, where's this machine? There. Mm, yeah, let's make 10 of these. I think 10 of these is a nice number. Let's look at the, look at the recipe. If we have 10 of these, um, then we make 
40 wood every six seconds. Um, 40 divided by six, that is something like six wood per second. Um, hey, look at that. If we set up a big coke machine over here, we can then turn six wood per second into six coke per second. Uh, and then six coke per second, we can then use to make up to 10 steel plate per second if we feed a lot of iron plates in there. Um, technically, we should make it bigger. Let's calculate it in reverse. We do want to put in a yellow belt of iron plate in here and turn all of the yellow belt of iron plate in as much steel as we can. So, oh wait, never mind. That we are already making twice as much as we need because if we would make a full yellow belt, we need three coke per second. We're making six coke per second. So I guess we're fine. Also, all that coke that we're making, uh, we can also put that coke um, into the um, processed fuel machine to get more processed fuel out of it, so the excess that we make. Um, to make six coke, we need to add together six coal and six wood. Um, so basically, one coke is made out of one wood and one coal. Every piece of wood is 1.25 megajoules of energy, and every piece of coal is 6 megajoules of energy. If we combine them up and turn them into coal, we get 10 megajoules of energy, which already is a lot more. Um, so, that will mean that we are going to be making our uh, greenhouse somewhere over here. It's close by to this thing, and close by to this thing. And we also need to be somewhere near the water, and we need to be somewhere near the sand. So you know what? Down here, exactly this spot over here, is the place where we want to make that. There we go. Pick up this. Pick up that. Just chop some trees, please. There we go. We probably also have to check up on the labs. No, they're still going. Uh, but since our labs are still hand fat, uh, it could just be that the labs over here, every now and then, just turn themselves off, which is a bit annoying, of course. Good. Also, we can probably just splice off the sand from over here um, because we'll probably not will always be making sand um, or uh, not sand, glass over there at any given time. Good. So, uh, we're doing this recipe, which means we do need to feed in 10 sand every 60 seconds. That's like nothing. Um, yeah, that's good. And then one, two, three. Now, a thing that's not quite obvious, but I've been told uh, after I've built it in the previous series is that the greenhouses over here can share water with each other. Um, usually, if an entity in Factorio has an input and output for liquid, uh, it kind of looks a bit like... Let's go over here real quick. Oh. Um, there they are. Uh, it looks like this. As you can see over here, you can clearly see the input and the output error of the steam. Um, we don't really have these for the greenhouses. Maybe it says something about it in the description. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Is there even a description in here? Oh, uh, not really. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, but it does work as intended. These greenhouses over here can share water with each other. Uh, so we only need to fill up like one of them. Actually, two of them. Each row like once. There we go. And then we do need the sand input. That will be this thing over there. Um, and then get the sand from over here somewhere. Uh, we do have a splitter. We need at least one more splitter. Maybe two. Mm, and then it will be coming from over here. Perfect. That's a decent height. Actually, it would be coming down from one further down below. But you know what? That's fine. Um, I'm for priority. Yeah. This thing over here does not really eat a lot of sand. Like, really, it does not eat a lot of sand. So we could just do it like this. And then you sneak past over here. And then you go like this, and then we do this. Oh, am I out of splitters? There we go. One more splitter, please. Uh, same over here, up priority. This thing over here. It will back up the fastest. There we go. And then you get your sand. Mm, and then... I think a single yellow inserter is going to be more than enough to fill this machine up with all the sand that we need. There we go. Have some sand. Uh, same for the outputs. We are putting out... What is it? 40 wood every 60 seconds. Um, the yellow inserter is, I think, actually fast enough for that. Um, might be a good idea to turn this into a blue one. But then again, as soon as we get like the first stack inserter upgrade or the first inserter upgrade for inserter size, hand size, then this issue over here will be immediately gone. There we go. There we go. Cool. 
And then we make some wood. Uh, we should probably also automate some, some belts soon because I'm kind of running out of my pocket. Uh, and we probably need to feed up the machine we have uh, all the way at the top. There we go. Oh, perfect distance for power. Excellent. Love that. Mm. There we go. Do it like this. Do it like that. Uh, the ones in the middle over there, we should be able to reach with, yeah, with one of these. Perfect. Can we do something like... Nah, too bad. Doesn't reach over. So we we'll do something like this and something like that. And there we go. You got your power. You go for there. Hey, this one's empty. I'll pick you up. Good. Uh, and then set the recipe real quick. There we go. That's all of that. Then we need one water pump. I mean, how much water do we need? Uh, we got 10 of these. That means we need 200 water every six seconds. That is no water. <laughs> that's, that's not really a water requirement. Um, here we go. Put the water pump over there. Uh, and then you get the connection, and you get the connection, and then we can also immediately see if this over here works as intended or not. Power this thing up, you get water. Oh, yeah, look at this, already going through there. Excellent. And now we got the greenhouse going, which means we now have a continuous supply of wood, which is great. Um, let me just get rid of these rocks real quick. So, how do we make coke, then? Uh, is coke a burning recipe? Uh, yes, we do that in the stone furnace. Uh, and we can... Yeah, we can easily half and half this. Um, we should process all the wood we get out of here into... Um, coke. Again, we make 40 wood every 6 seconds. That is... 6.66666, an evil amount of wood. Uh, and as you all know, trees are the root of every evil in Factorio. Um, but we're just going to assume we're making six wood per second. Uh, and we're just going to approximate the rest. Uh, which means we do need the full 16 of these to make all the coke that we want to do. Um, sure, let's go for that. Um, that will be 16 for any. Mm, well, that's 15. Hey, let me find the rock real quick. Here we go. That's 16. Um, we can half and half belt this. Yeah, we can half and half belt this. Uh, and we're going to place this thing, I think, right over here is fine. So one over there, and then one, two, three, one over there. Uh, and then we just do the classic build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Hey, that was actually eight. And then another eight. There we go. And then you go like this. That's a little bit too close. You go like that. You go like this, and then we do the classic, um, which does mean we need uh, two of these, two undergrounds. Actually, we don't really need undergrounds. I've got more than enough undergrounds. But let's also can have a look if we have some more. Yeah, we got some belt available. Oh, we got loads of belt available. Yeah, automating belt is probably a thing we're going to be doing soon as well. Uh, just like make a little machine that is just continuously fed with iron plate over here. So that we can make belts non-stop. Okay, that's nowhere near us. That's good. Uh, by the way, if you've not noticed, um, I did double down the power plant at some point in time. I did it off-camera real quick. It was just a copy-paste job. Um, yeah. Um, oh, we need more stuff. Yeah. Well, back up we go. Um, the only thing we need is... Well, we do also need some automation cores, I think. Yeah, we do need those. So give me this, give me that. Uh, give me stickies. Have this, please. And then... Yeah, about... Actually, about this amount. That should be fine. But we should still pick up at least a couple automation cores. A couple of engines. There we go. And a couple of these. There we go. So that we have everything we need to work with. Good, good, good. Love it. Mm. Before we go down there, let's just take the top from this one. There we go. Because making more inserts is definitely a good idea. I'm not quite sure why I'm making one underground. <laughs> Stop making that, that one underground, please. Good. Uh, and then the input will be like this. Again, I think this might need to be a blue inserter, but for now it's fine. And then output like this. Yep, 
Here we go. You make coke. There we go. Uh, then the classic. One over there, one over there, and then you go like this. And then you come from over here. That's what we you. You have some trees. Mm, then we do need some power in here. Wait, I think I can. Nope. Ah, uh, power pulls in this game. Horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Especially if they do connections like this, like here. I'm going to connect over there. Why? Because I'm going to do that. Oh, well, now we got this nice little grid going. Um, Good, good, good. Here we go. That's the wood coming in. And now we only need to feed in the coal. The coal is currently coming in from over there. Um, we don't really want the coal to come in from over there. Um, let's see. We also get some extra coal from over there. I'm just going to cut this connection real quick. You're going to move past. You're going to move down. You're going to move over. Uh, we do want undergrounds over here. There we go. And then this one will at some point be split off to where we make the steel. You go back up. Um, oh, that's going to be an issue. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we go. Um, okay, let's let's clean this thing up over here a little bit. So we will have one place of coal that's going down. This will be you. That will be you. I need some more splitters. Um, two. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 slightly complicated, only slightly. Uh, then, no, this is fine. Then we're gonna have one underground coming from over here to over there. We reconnect up like this. We do an input priority at the top. We do an output priority over here at the bottom. Um, there we go. Because uh, we do want to prioritize the coke that's coming in in these machines over here, but it could just be that for whatever reason, uh, we're either A, not making enough coke uh, to supply this machine over here, or maybe something else. So we do need something to feed into here in cases of uh, like uh, low, low throughput. Especially once we start picking up this coke over here for things like steel, then things will be a bit different. There we go. Um, yeah, and we do need blue inserts over here, but for now, this is fine. This is good. And that's also the beauty of this machine over here. This machine over here, it doesn't really care if you put in coal, if you put in coke, doesn't matter. It eats it all and it turns it all into um, processed fuel, um, which is then the unified thing we use over here. Um, and the only difference that, that the fuel over here makes is how long this thing over here burns. Uh, and since coke definitely has a longer burn time than coal, we get more processed fuel out of it this way around. And it doesn't really matter that this belt over here is mixed. This is more or less just a big fuel unifier, which is really, really nice. Good. Uh, but we now got ourselves some um, coke going. Perfect. And then we need to think about how do we make steel out of that. Um, where is steel again? Steel is over here. Um, and then, yeah, it's just the same smelting recipe over it again, isn't it? If we make 16 of these, we make 15 iron plates, and if we make 16 of these, we need 15 iron plates. Uh, let's just sketch out the build real quick, because I don't think we have the time to, to get it in today. Uh, but then at least we can see how it will look, and I'll just build it on the side real quick, so that you guys can see how it will look at the end. Ah, yeah, see? I almost follow something like that. So there we go. Yeah, give me some of this. We're going to need um, 20, 30. No, wait. That's 30 and 2. I hope I didn't miscount. 32 um, smelters. Smelters. A little bit fine. What are you missing? You're out of wood? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> sure. Go for that. Um, that is 32. Perfect. So the iron ore will be coming from somewhere doesn't really matter where the iron ore is coming from. 
Um, but let's just sketch it out over here real quick because we're going to have to add two of these into one, two, two of these, and then one, two, three, and one, two, two. Good. You over there, you make iron plates. There we go. You over there, you make steel. There we go. Uh, let's make some long hands and some more short hands. For that, we should probably pick up some more stuff uh, from over here. And there we go. Good, 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 good. And then it's going to go look at something like this. So we already know this one over here. This is going to be the same build as we have done all the time. Uh, where we're going to have a first fuel line. Uh, and an ore line. So that we can fill up these machines over here. Then um, we're going to have two of these over here. Which will lob the iron plate into these machines over here. Um, we're going to have a belt of coke over here. A belt of coke over here. This one is just going to feed the coke into these machines. Um, this will also be the fuel they're going to use. These things over here, we could technically also give them process fuel. I'm not quite sure if they will actually pass through the process fuel over here or not. Uh, could be the case that they actually do that. Um, we will see if that happens. Fine. If it doesn't happen, it does. I don't really mind that these things over here run on coke. Uh, and then we're just going to have like an output over here and an output over there. And then that will be the build. And then, of course, we're going to need... Some power in here and some lamps. Lamps are very important. There we go. There we go. Um, sure. Do something like this. And then you get the power pull. You get the power pull. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. And then... Hmm. This might make it just a little bit too bright. So we just alternate over here or something like that. It'll be fine. Or maybe just keep it on one side. We just keep it on one side. Perfect. And that will be our steel smelting column. Uh, of course, then we just need a little bit more belt. I'm just going to put this belt over here like this and that. Uh, just for completion of sake. Some of these belts might get flipped. We'll see. Um, but yeah, sure. Um, so let's make a copy of this. No, oh, now I have to pick it all up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to do only a partial pickup um, because we're going to actually we're already almost done with this. At least picking up is going fast. Another pickaxe, you know, another pickaxe speed increase would be great so that we could do this even faster. There we go. And yes, I do know I should actually ghost it because if we ghost it, we can pick it up faster and stuff like that. But, well, here we go. Good. Um, so let's have a look over here. Mm, technically... We should place it over here, like this. Uh, and then one over here. One over there. One over there. And then one over there. Uh, this still fits. Almost. There we go. We just move you around like this, and then it will be fine. Good. However, this fuel line over here now makes an issue. Um, here. Hmm. Hmm. Because we kind of want to snake our fuel lines through here, and I don't really want to rely on too many splitters. Um, what we could do over here is the following. Yeah, you say like that. And we just do the split down here, and then we just move the fuel over here, and then into there, and then we will be fine with that. Good! But that will be the steel build. That will be it for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of these actions will help me out and grow this channel into something bloody amazing. Uh, you can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where I do even more Factorio, um, Captain of Industry, GTFO, and Rimworld. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!